give me your handicap of both of them and what you think and who you think they are. Right, well, right now, Liz Truss is the bookmaker's favourite to win and become the next Prime Minister. If you look at the betting markets, you know, there are no really good indicators in this race, but they've got her odds on, 55% chance. So next 45, very close, by the way. Now, she is somebody who would certainly be Sunak attacks her as Reaganite, for example. In other words, she's for low tax, starve the beast, let's come up with an immediate £30 billion tax cut. This economy, she's saying, is never really going to take off until the government gets off people's back, and that means we have to borrow some more money to do it, then, then so be it. So that is where she, that is her style. She is, she was a liberal democrat, so a different political party, before she was a conservative. And she voted Remain, she wasn't a Brexiteer either. And to many Tories, that makes her, puts her on the dark side. She's a former Liberal Democrat Remainer, how can she be a Conservative leader? But in a strange way, she has now become a louder and more vocal championship for classic Conservative values than Rishi Sunak. So she's talking about being strong on defence, of cutting back regulation, of cutting back the size of the government, and of doing it quickly and radically in saying that the British government, the Britain as a country, has now is never really going to go anywhere. The economy is going to stall because of Rishi Sunak's taxes. On a personal basis, she's never well. She's very spirited, but she she's never been in a department where she's had to deliver what she dangles. Now, we were speaking earlier about, about Boris Johnson and about how he has quite a, a well-worked-out 20-year journalistic career ex- expounding values that he was unable to translate into policies when in government. So this is the big question. You might talk a good game, but can you deliver? Will you find that the winds will blow you down a high-tax, high-spending direction because you lack the resolve to carry it through? So that's the big question mark about Liz Truss. She's never really, for all of the time she's been in government, and she has never really been in a department where she would have to achieve that. And so she's less polished than Rishi Sunak, but she speaks conservative values. And, and I've also been at Conservative Party conferences where the delegates and the members, who after all are the only ones voting in this race, they love her. They're queuing out the door to listen to her. She she loves them. She's got this great relationship with them. So she is a great one, like a revivalist preacher talking to the, the faithful. She's a base politician. Like. Yeah. And the base lover. And Rishi, on the other hand, not so much. Rishi, he would say that he is a serious version of Liz Trust, that he does want low-tax economy, he passionately believes in it, but you need to be practical. Unless you've got a plan, then you shouldn't be taken seriously. So now he is from a very different background. He was he went to Winchester College, one of the most elite schools in Britain, in a Britain which is still very class-obsessed. He is absolutely, you know, one of the richest. He's got a wife who's richer than the Queen, and he's probably the richest politician ever to serve in a democratic British government. When he was the finance minister, he redecorated 11 Downing Street from his own pocket. Um, It's just an incredible sort of spending that he's got. But he has probably got the best grip of government than any politician that I've spoken to. I'm absolutely amazed when I speak to him that he knows the mechanics, he knows what the markets are doing. He's got a Bloomberg terminal on his desk. He's a former trader who made his own fortune before he married his his mega rich, rich wife. He is also, having spoken to him a lot, I would say quite radical in private. He will talk about how depressed he is that the welfare state hasn't been reformed, why are there are too many people on out-of-work benefits when they could be working, why has there been no school reform, why has there been no health service reform. So he, I'm in the lucky position where I speak to lots of politicians behind the scenes. Nobody has been more impatient than Rishi Sunak 